You know, it's not the same as this really old wooden ladder right here. It's been a long year, but the last chapter of the Crimson Dynamo story was written tonight. With steel, four big steel ladders, our blood, our sweat, and our tears it was all over that ring. <clears throat> In the end, I managed to walk away with my hand raised high. I got my robe back. I got Zach's flag, I got his beret, I don't know what I'm going to do with those. And, you know, if you want one, write to EWI and I'll mail it to you. And that's it. It's finally done. I don't know what's in store next for Dynamite Doug Summers. Got a lot of thinking ahead of me. Got to sit down and really figure out where I go from here. There's a whole bunch of places I'd love to go. I'd love to be start challenging for that. EWA Championship, and I think that anybody who came out tonight and saw that ladder match, no one can say that Dynamite Doug Summers doesn't deserve his shot. But whatever happens, wherever my road takes me, I want to thank every single EWA fan who came out to the turn for Reed, who watched me spill my blood, sweat, and tears in that ring, who cheered me on while I was fighting against my former best friend. You people kept me going. When a friend turns on you like that, anyone who's felt that knows it's, it's heart-wrenching. Feels like it was torn out of my body, thrown on the ground. And the only thing that kept me going were you great fans at EWA. So whatever happens with Dynamite Doug Summers next, wherever I end up, keep coming to EWA. Keep showing these guys your support. Because believe me, it means more to us than you can ever imagine. I need a shower.